This week on Cocktails and Conversations, I'm in Grand Rapids, Michigan in front of the Long Road Distillery Company. We're going to get a behind the scenes look, a tour, and learn a little bit more about what it means to make whiskey the right way, which is sometimes the hard way and definitely the long way. Alright, so thank you so much for joining us at another Cocktails and Conversation. I'm with my good friend Adam and we are here at the Long Road Distillery in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Adam. Yes. I am so excited. You are part of the, the Guild? Guild? The Grand Rapids Bartenders Guild, which is a part of the U.S. Bartenders Guild, uh, which we're just basically uh, League of Industry Professionals. We host education events, uh, do promotions, uh, cocktail competitions, just all geared towards industry professionals and trying to elevate our culture as much as we can. That is awesome. So can I like become a taste tester at these cocktail competitions? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. That is awesome. We do enthusiast memberships, so you okay. know, people that want to just get involved and learn more about the culture of bartending, network with bartenders, um, just be a part of the scene, are always welcome to join us as well. That's awesome. How did you get involved with this? Um, so, my background in bartending has always kind of been like dive bars, you know, just shot and pop. And then when I got in here at Long Road, what we've done is we take everything and we make it from scratch. So our simple syrups, our vermouths, our cordials, bitters, all this are made here in house. And for me, I'm obsessed with this culture. This is my career pathway. I want to understand this world as much as possible. So I get the fortune of working with really good products and understanding like how to build flavor was something that I'm always pursuing and Grand Rapids Bartenders Guild was like this cool way where I can see what the trends were, what people yeah. were coming out with. Yeah. And then after doing it for a little bit, I realized that I really enjoyed it, wanted to see cool things happening, so I threw in my name for vice president and now we're fully licensed chapter and we're Dude, that is awesome. It's fun. So what are what are you gonna make for me today? I'm really excited to see because you like you said you make everything in house with your own bitters and everything. So what's the what's so, this? The cocktail we'll be making today is one that I came up with called Friends with Benefits. Uh, like the name. It's kind of going to be like a, I guess like a riff on a Martinez. Okay. Um, so we're going to use Long Road Gin. Yep. Uh, two ounces. And then we make our own sweet vermouth. Um, I do a half ounce of the sweet vermouth. Yep. I have a green cardamom simple syrup that we make. And okay. That's basically so what's involved in that? The green, without like, it's too much. Oh, I'm happy to share this. So it's basically a green cardamom tea and okay. then just sugar and equal parts. Nice. Um, and then we make uh, orange bitters. We kind of okay. fashion them off the uh, English deer because they're yep. the salt and pepper of cocktails. Um, so we'll just do a dash of that. I feel like an 1800s like saloon or like I'm at a pharmacy and the droppers and stuff. Oh, this is awesome. This will cure all your ailments. <laughs> I also make a pistachio tincture. So okay. what we've done is we roasted some salt and pistachios and uh, soaked it in this high uh, 150 proof vodka. Okay. So we'll do a couple dashes of that. And then just to kind of expedite things, I'm going to get a orange slice so that we can Oh, nice. Express over the glass and kind of impart a little bit more of the citrus that you were trying to get from the bitters. Okay. Um, and if you want to jump in. Yeah, what, um, what am I doing? If you want to grab me a scoop of ice. Absolutely, I can do that. Put it in. And then we're going in the glass. Right, right in there. Awesome. And we'll just keep going. We'll give it a couple of stirs until we get it properly uh, okay. diluted and chilled. Okay. Awesome. I'm so excited. This is so fun. cool. So how long have you been doing this? How long have you been at the Long Road? So Long Road, I've been here about two and a half years. Okay. Um, I just started out as like a kid that wanted to bartend, kind of trying to make my name for myself in this scene, and I was told it was my enthusiasm and interest in the spirits that got me the job here. Awesome. Because um, before this, I had no real experience. I got all the oil in there. Okay. I had no experience in this kind of bartending. I didn't know how to make a martini, let alone any of the classics. Um, but yeah, I've been here two and a half years, and I love it. This is so cool. Wow. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, that's incredible. You get the, you get everything, the gin, everything about this is amazing. But there's the pistachio nuts too, and there's a sweetness. Mm -hmm. what, 
Oh my gosh. I tried, I wanted to make something that like, it drank like a martini, but that the average person can still imbibe and enjoy. Oh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Oh wow, this is so cool. So check out the recipe below, and thank you so much for watching. We're so excited. Be sure to like and share with your friends, and we're so thankful that you watched. Thanks, guys. Cheers.